Ben Salem Public Safety Director Fred Harron wants to clear up a few things about crime in Bucks County. There really is no direct correlation between uh, someone's uh, income, poverty level, and crime. So just because you don't have money does not a criminal make. From million dollar housing developments to low income neighborhoods, the overall crime rate in Bucks and Eastern Montgomery counties is on the decline, and it has been for decades. Violent crime and property crime in those communities has dropped or remained the same in 41 out of 52 towns in recent years. In Ben Salem Township, we've seen a 52% reduction in burglary. In Bucks County, we've seen a 25% reduction in burglary. While poverty and income inequity have been the focus of academic and government research into crime rates and criminal behavior, Fred Heron believe other factors are more significant. And we've been looking at this recently, especially with the opioid addiction issues. People will commit crime just to support the opioid addiction. Um, it, again, this has nothing to do with the socioeconomic class. They have many times have gone through all their money, which they've had a lot of. So now they'll start committing crime. What bothers Fred Harron is when people automatically link poverty and criminal behavior. That's not true. We have locked up people for retail theft, stealing five, ten dollars, twenty dollars, thirty dollars worth of uh, nonsense from a box store and then you get their address and they have an upper county address. And one would think, that just doesn't make sense. This is Joe Chevalier reporting from Bucks County.